All right, so let's uh, set up a meet with uh, with Milesplit. So let's, if you are hosting online registration with Milesplit, God bless you, thank you. Uh, and uh, it's really easy from within RaceTab to download that meet right from RaceTab. Uh, you know, no other downloading file and importing necessary. You can do it right from RaceTab. First thing that you want to make sure of is that you want to make sure that you're logged into Milesplit. Now you're required to do that um, when you start but you can kind of verify that you are by clicking up here on your name in the top right and it'll say logged into Milesplit as guest. Um, actually, uh, I guess this is a good enough example as any, I don't want to be logged in as guest because I don't have permission to download the meet I'm going to download as guest. So I'm going to go and actually log on my own Milesplit account. And so I just changed that. So now again, if you look, it says now logged on as Jason. So good enough example. So make sure you're logged on with the right user so you have permission to access the meet. If you try to download a meet and you don't have permission, you're just going to get basic properties of the meet and none of the entries. So, um, so next thing I'm going to do here is click download for mouse split. Pretty obvious. I'm going to uh, set my state if it wasn't set already, and I'm going to set the date. So let's say I, I'm just kind of guessing here. Um, actually, I'm going to just go ahead next Saturday and know that we got some meets using our system next Saturday for sure. So let's say uh, we're going to download this Steinbrenner Invitational here. That's a pretty big meet in Tampa. And so we just click Next. And you can see the settings here of what we're downloading. I'm not downloading entire rosters. I'm only going to download the people who actually entered in the meet. But if you wanted to download the entire rosters, you have that option as well. So next thing all we do is click Download and Import. And you'll see it running through all these different things that it's doing. Downloading. Downloading, downloading. And there we go. Move this back up into your view. And uh, so then if we go to our teams, we've got all of our teams. So we've got all of our athletes. We've got all of our events. And if we go to this event, one thing people freak out about all the time is they're like, oh man, there's nobody in at 800. Well, that's because we haven't seeded the meet yet. But if we go back here and click kind of back from heat one, um, we see on here and under all heats here's all these people they just haven't been seated yet so all of your entries everything is there it's all set up for you very very easy